Hey guys, welcome to Bambi TV. Guys, when we react to when the enemy applauds to your argument, amazing, I meant that. Guys, I don't know who the enemy is, but like, let's get straight into this. See that uh, Christ Jesus wasn't crucified. He never died. And how can we prove this? Because this is the only thing which is actually, <clears throat> excuse me, protecting me or trying to retard my progress to become a Muslim. All my students, I'm sure some of them are here, they know of my ambition. But my aim and the truth is what I'm looking for. Because I believe a day will come I must stand by the judgment throne to actually testify all what I've done on earth. But how am I going to find that truth? Because it has been told that we've, we, the Christian, believe that Christ died and rose to show to the world that after death there is life. This is the proof. But if I can just have that, hallelujah, I will turn tonight to be a Muslim. I prove this to you. The brother said now if he can be made certain that this crucifixion didn't take place, he is prepared to accept Islam tonight. Let us see. Man says I want to find the truth. But generally they close their eyes, they say I want to see the sun. And I don't see the sun because his eyes are closed. And he doesn't want to open the eyes. He's terrified to open the eyes. Nobody can help him. No million sons can help him to see the light if he keeps his eyes closed. But now if he opens himself to say, let's have a look. What does the book say? The book says, Luke chapter 24, verse 36, that Jesus returns to that upper room where they had the last supper. The Christian knows what I'm talking about. Before his alleged crucifixion, Jesus went to that upper room in Jerusalem and with his disciples they had the last supper. So after his alleged crucifixion, Jesus returns after three days. And he goes into this room and his disciples are there, ten of them, ten of them are there. And he wishes them in Hebrew, Shalom Aleichum, same as Salam Aleichum in Arabic. When he said, peace be unto you, salam alaikum, his disciples were terrified. So I'm asking my Christian brothers, why were, he, why were they terrified? They were affrighted because they thought he was a spirit. Am I quoting correctly? Your scripture? Yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> so I'm asking, did he look like a spirit? Did he look like a ghost, a spook? They said, no. Then I said, why should they think the man is a spirit where he didn't, didn't look like one? Christian gets puzzled. Because they say he, they thought that he was a spirit. So I said, you see, the reason is that the disciples of Jesus, his Hawariyun, they had heard from hearsay people talking that the master, Jesus, was hanged on the cross. They had heard from hearsay people talking that he had given up the ghost you know, the spirit had come out, he had died. They had heard from hearsay, people talking, that now he's dead and buried for three days. All the knowledge is from hearsay, people talking. Because Mark chapter 14, verse 50, he tells us that at the most critical juncture in the life of Jesus, all his disciples forsook him and fled. All. So I'm asking, does all mean all in your language, you English man? He said yes. So they were not there. All the knowledge from what they heard. So on hearsay knowledge, if you know about a man who is dead and buried for three days, you expect him to be stinking in his grave. Am I right? After three days, the man should be stinking in his grave. Such a person you see, naturally you are terrified. Because you think he's a spook, a ghost, a spirit. So Jesus wants to assure them that he's not what they are thinking. They are thinking he has come back from the dead, resurrected. So he says, Unzuru ila yadaya varijalaya. Says, Behold my hands and my feet. Inni anahua. I'm the same fellow man. What's wrong with you fools? Can't you see? Inni, most certainly I, anahua. Husuni wanzuru. Say, Handle me and see. Fainna ruha laysa lahu lamun weizamun. For a spirit has no flesh and bones, as you see me have. And they felt him. And they believed not for joy. Means they were overjoyed. And wondered, what happened man? We thought the man was dead and buried. 
So he says, to assure them further, that this is not what they are thinking, he says, أَإِنْدَكُمْ هَاهُنَا تَعَامْ Have you got here anything to eat? فَنَاوَلُوهُ جُزْءًا مِّن سَمَكٍ وَشَيْئًا مِّن شَهَدِ عَسَلٍ فَأَخَزَا وَأَكَلَ كُدَّامَهُمْ And they gave him a piece of broil fish, and a honeycomb, and he took it, and he ate in the very sight to prove what? There is a ghost, there is a spook, there is a spirit. What is he proving? I'm a same fellow man, damn fools, what are you afraid of me for? This is what he's proving to them. He's telling them that he's not what you are thinking. And yet he said, no, he is. He said, he's not a spirit. You say, he is. Amazing. Amazing sense of logic reasoning. The man is telling you, I'm not. You say, he is. Jesus says, I'm not God. I'm a servant of God. He said, no, he's God. Jesus says, I don't know about the Yom al Qiyamah. They said, no, he knows. Jesus says, I can't do everything of my own self. He said, no, he can do everything. I say, what's wrong with you people? The man is telling you, I don't know. The man is telling you, I'm the same fellow. And you say, no, he's a spirit. He says, he's not a spirit, you say, he's a spirit. I want to know whether you understand English. I don't know Ghanaian, I don't have told you in the Ghanaian language. Okay? A spirit has no flesh and bones. Why does he tell you a spirit has no flesh and bones? Look, it's an axiomatic truth. Everybody agrees. Whether Hindu, Jew, atheist, agnostic, spirit has no flesh and bones. So why must he tell you that? Because you are thinking that he is. He said he is not that. And he's eating broiled fish and honeycomb. Do resurrected bodies eat broiled fish and honeycomb? Do they? That when we wake up, Yomul Kiyama, everybody eating broiled fish and honeycomb? Is that what it is? So what is this? The man is telling you he is not, and you say, no, he is. I said, this is this. The Quran discussed. Jesus said, seeing they see not, hearing they hear not, neither do they understand. The Quran confirms that. It's a summum bukmun umyun for whom lies jiun. Deaf, dumb, and blind, they will not return to the path. If you want to see, the signs are there. This booklet is here. I don't know whether you got this crucifixion or crucifixion. Have you got this? Yes. Now, look, man, the whole thing. There isn't a Christian born. Look, brother, brother, listen. I'm, I'm offering your mighty Christian giants in America meeting in the Madison Square Garden at my expense. You get me Jerry Falwell, or Pat Robertson, or Billy Graham, and I will give you, 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 $10,000 present. If you can make any one of those to agree to discuss this with me in America in Madison Square Garden, I will give you as a present $10,000. Guys, this worked a lot, and the painful part is that I've checked this out before, and the name actually confused me, that's why I'm checking it out again. But we'll start from where he said a spirit can eat, a resurrected body can eat fish and honeycomb. But if we want to be honest, we know the story of Lazarus when Jesus resurrected him after three days. I think it's three days, yes. Three days and three nights, yeah. But Jesus resurrected him and when he was resurrected, he still ate, but he still ate. So you can't say a resurrected body can eat. Like if you die and God decided to wake you up, you will eat. So Jesus being resurrected and he said you can believe based on your say. I don't feel that's correct though. <laughs> Please don't come after me. I'm just being I'm just being honest, stating the fact that is there. Like if we are being honest, how do we receive information now? We receive information based on what we see online, what we see on news. Like videos you see and we make sure it's not edited videos like the videos explain it will see a man shooting somebody that's how I believe it back then the way they spread information is you told this person person told this person person told this person that was the way it is so you won't say they carried jesus to the palace and the king said they should crucify him and a girl saw peter and was like he's part of jesus crew like they were not with jesus but they were following like they were trying to hide themselves but they were aware of what was happening the full city was aware of what was happening so you're saying that they were not there and based on because it's yesa it means it's not valid it's not actually tangible point. based on the fact that jesus actually told them that he's gonna go for three days, like he is going to be in the heart of the earth for three days and three nights. And based on the fact that 
they were like, they were being persecuted. Like they wanted to kill them. Mary was there when they killed Jesus. Like she saw her son being killed. I remember Jesus has two of his brothers. Yeah, I think two of his brothers among the disciples or one. I, I can't really remember, but I know Jesus had a brother of his among the disciples. And even if the brother was not among the disciples, there's no way they would kill your follower. And his mom was there and she wouldn't tell you what happened. Or like the news was there, like the whole city knew what happened. So you say it didn't happen based on the fact that the disciples was not there. It's not actually a valid fact. And why the soldiers and were afraid is because you've heard this person died and you saw him. Like anybody in this logical sense will be afraid. Like it's it's fact. Like I don't know. I like this is you. I don't even know how to explain it because it's just fact. I had you were dead. The full country think you are dead. And I saw you, and I'm afraid. Jesus is going to come out from the heart of the earth within three days and three nights. It's something he can obviously do. He actually performed a lot of miracles, and we know it. Through the help of God, yes, I believe that. Yes, through the help of God. And But you saying that he didn't die based on the fact that it's... Well, that's how information was spread back then. Like That is how information was being spread. So you can say... Maybe now we see something, we see a video on social media and he said that didn't happen because it's on social media. Like it's for like that's how information is being spread now. So you have to take it. But guys, then what you honestly think about this? Like be honest, let's have a decent conversation. Like correct me where you think I am wrong. I'm willing to take corrections. But guys, this is what I honestly feel. Or oh, this is the fact that I have honestly gathered from my brain and the bible okay, guys i'll see you next time guys Best.